Good morning everyone, <coughs> crusty voice. Welcome to the first of my PhD vlogs. Today is day one, um, it's actually Wednesday, but I'll do Wednesday to Wednesday. I hope that you guys are gonna get an insight into what a PhD is like in biology. I'm doing sort of cancer research. My day-to-day -day life is like, um, how variable and dynamic it can be as well, which you'll definitely notice. So put it this way, no two weeks are the same, no two days are the same, not even, no two hours are the same. And now it's 8.15 so I'm a bit early. Um, so I don't think the front door's open so you literally have to go all the way through the uni and then tap into about four different doors <laughs> before I finally get into my lab it's just the longest thing ever so the first thing I need to do today is um, save my data you generate a lot of data when you do research especially when it comes to like research with microscope basically my PhD is inside <laughs> this hard drive 35 minutes just to save one night of data and I've got all of these nights to save. Mm -hmm. Area, I sort of, what I do is every week I have post-it notes where I save what I want to do every single day and I plan. I'm even here on the weekend this week, so I've got, you know, the weekend as well. Um, so yeah, this was yesterday. I got most of the things done and then this is today. I kind of plan on the day and also a bit um, in advance if I can. Also keep my, like, this sort of calendar. As you can see, I keep a calendar where I can see exactly what's going on. So this was this month. Um, this was last month. Um, and I sort of write down the dates when I have microscopes booked and uh, meetings and things like that. This is the bench that I work out, the lab bench. So um, here is where I do all my experiments. Um, I usually wear a lab coat. Here you have different kind of, you have different kits for things. So you have, this is a RNA um, extraction kit. So with that kit, you're able to extract the RNA from cells, which is pretty cool. In my final year, I don't think I've mentioned that yet, yeah. In my final year, I have about three months left to submit my thesis. So, <laughs> very stress this is a very stressful time. Finish experiments off, tie loose ends, um, and then start writing. I mentioned, but I just got back from Malta. I had the most amazing time. I was there for four days, and it was just the best break ever that I needed. And now I'm, which is why I'm so like, ready to go because I'm just refreshed which is why I'm in uni at 8.30 <laughs> I'm never here at 30. so I'm just feeling so fresh um, and so yeah I highly recommend it for you guys if you want if, you, if you're feeling stressed out and you need a break take it listen to your body listen to your mind I really enjoy reading but I like reading books that have some sort of history to it or some sort of science to it which is why I thought you know I really gravitated to this book but do let me know if you've read this book you know honestly after Malta I just had this burn of energy I'm looking at um, proteins in the cell cortex and how these proteins sort of um, affect different cell processes such as cell division, um, cell migration which is movement of cells and how they interact with each other to make actin filaments. Now I'm looking at a few different proteins um, including actin and also myosin. So the main aim of my PhD is to try to understand which proteins control assembly and the organization of the cortex and also how do they do this. Yesterday saw me analyzing this and essentially what I do is I look at cells and how they divide over the long term so I kind of image them for I'd say 19 to 20 hours and then I um, see if they divide normally if they go through interphase normally prophase metaphase all of these different things um, and by that I'm able to check whether knocking down certain proteins deleting certain proteins has an effect on cell division.
this year I used to do so many social activities after uni and stuff but because it's I'm so busy now with like thesis writing I'm just I just try to get to the gym to break it up a little bit In my rapidly decreasing spare time, I work on my travel blog, which is www.imanaplace.com. So do check it out if you're interested in that. Today is day three. Yeah, day three of my week as a life as a PhD student. So yesterday you saw me doing western blot, so what I need to do today is reveal the western blot, so make sure that I can actually see something on the blot. Um, so what I need to check for is that the protein that I've deleted has actually been deleted. So what I should see, I should see a band where it's my control, so where it hasn't been deleted, and then I should see no band where it has been deleted. So that's the plan for today. So what I need to do first is wash my membrane that contains the proteins um, and I left it overnight in some milk and some antibodies um, which are specific to the protein. So I'm going to do that now, wash it and then um, and then I can go and reveal. So wish me luck you guys. I hate Western so much. There's such an easy thing to do but there's so many complicated, there's so many steps that when something goes wrong, you don't know where it went wrong because there's just so many places where it could have gone wrong. Alarm's gone off. Okay, maybe that was a test. <laughs> I've got a mini headache. My Western didn't go too well, in case you wondered. But yeah, I'm gonna heat up my food right now and have some lunch. I've gotten to a point where I kind of just have given up. I need the Westerns, but I just, it's just not working and it's just such a waste of time. Currently um, cycling around in the park, the local park to me. Just waiting for the sunset, it's almost sunset. I'll show you guys the sunset. Such a beautiful day today. Finished uni really early, finished about 2.30 and now I'm just with my sister in the park and we are lapping up this golden hour sun, <laughs> um, having a little ride. I also have my skipping rope here too so hope to get maybe a little workout as well at the same time but yeah I just I love the sun and I don't cycle enough because in London it's just way too dangerous so by doing this I get the best of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you skip? <laughs> this is what PhD does to you. So I used to love to earth is when you like just kind of skin to ground, grass, earth basically. <laughs> Saturday and I'm at university as you can see um, um, I've seen loads of bloggers blog um, like post the Ivy Chelsea garden the facade looks gorgeous so I thought you know why not check that out so I went there this morning at 7.30 yep 7.30 my Instagram is simply underscore Amina the experiment that I did yesterday the western blot um, didn't go too well so I need to redo it again um, and I'm hoping that this time it will I need to have patience for a PhD. It's very frustrating. <laughs> It's Saturday, it's still Saturday, um, it's the end of the day and I'm almost home. I've had such a long day, I'm absolutely knackered, I've been up since about 7am. Good morning 
everyone, so today is Sunday morning and I'm at university. Got to reveal my western blot, I'm so sure. wish me luck with this western. It's the second time I've done it and it has to work this time. Pray for me. What's the latest? It's the hottest day in London today. It's like 24 degrees. It was the hottest day of this year. Anyway. It's just a chill day. I've not got too much to do apart from imaging my western blot. Right now it's just washing, so I'm imaging my western blot in about an hour um, so that's I hope that goes well because I'm just I'm just over it completely you guys saw this plan um, the beginning of the week and you can see how much more was added as I went on um, this is Saturday and this is Sunday we've got two days left on this um, vlog this week as a student vlog um, today is Sunday I started on Wednesday so I'll do it Monday, tomorrow and Tuesday as well and hopefully you guys get a really a good grasp of what's going on I hope I didn't I hope it's not too boring because I don't know I feel like my week's quite repetitive I'm gonna continue with this Western blot and I will show you guys we'll see how it turns out basically 24. I give up with the Western the only thing for me is the fact that I know that I need them and it's just not working out. It's Monday today and I am rushing to meet someone because... Oh, so I'm rushing to meet someone because apparently I don't have any cells in my dish. All my cells are dead and I can't understand why. Don't know what I can do about it. So I have to do it again. Surprise, surprise. You will know that we have a long-standing feud between the two London universities um, and Jeremy Bentham was part of that sort of feud where they one university stole his body or I think it was his head, I can't remember and then that and UCL stole it back and right now it's with UCL and there's this massive feud about it. Just to quickly show you guys what liquid nitrogen is for those of you who are not in research you won't know what it is it's pretty cool actually. Liquid nitrogen so I blow can see that there's like compartments in there and yeah so inside here we keep sort of our cells um, for long-term storage we always wear safety gloves and you should always wear goggles it's a bit big for me but there we are we've got compartments you see and then in there we keep our cells um, and with this we're able to store ourselves for the long term this is like totally falling off my head first started in the lab it was quite scary dealing with it because it's really really cold let my easter holidays begin tomorrow i've cleared out all my cells so you can see no cells in my section there and no cells in my section there as well but i'm officially done for the well for now the start of my thesis writing well official thesis writing time so from now on, all I have to do is write my thesis. Hey, I'm gonna be here for a week and sort of week and a half. My lab book in here, got my charger, my laptop. So yesterday was the hottest day in the UK and today's like the coldest day in the UK. So I'm currently on my way to the South Bank Centre to see if I can get some work done in a slightly different environment to the lab. Today I'm off, it's my first day off. I spent the morning in the library and now I'm off to Greenwich to number one check out the Maritime Museum and um, also to watch the sunset from Greenwich Park. The view there is amazing. And lastly, to watch the fireworks um, in front of the Kati Sark. So this kind of weekend um, they have the Tall Ship Festival and there'll be fireworks so yesterday, today, tomorrow and the day after. So that should be really, really cool. Last year I couldn't make it, I don't know, I can't remember why I couldn't make it, but this year I'm so down. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I get up to. Coming in the underground, just got out at Canary Wharf Station. 